<laughs> Hello. Hey, everybody. <coughs> yeah. So you guys may be thinking, Eric, didn't you already play this game? This this 1994 classic? Oh, what's going on? Oh, I guess it does that. Anywho, so yeah, so you might be thinking to yourself, Eric, you already played this game. What's the deal? Well, I hate that playthrough. So... <laughs> <coughs> that was only four hours, really? Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna be redoing this playthrough. Alrighty then. Because I am not happy with it at all. Controller setting. I was gonna make sure we got it right. Okay, shot is X. Jump is. Oh hell no. <laughs> I'm sure oh. that it was fine. I disagree. Dash is X. Dash should be A, item select to select, angle up, angle down, and yeah, that sounds good. Just make sure that that saved. Yeah. That was actually one of the things that I didn't like playing Super Metroid on my 3DS. That's what, this is what turned me, turned me off, was the controls. But then I realized you can customize your controls, and I'm like, wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> What's special setting mode? Icon can't, what does that mean? Moonwalk? Shot plus hold. What? I'm just gonna go back. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to touch anything. <laughs> Please tell me we can moonwalk. The last metro what? Please tell me we can moonwalk. The galaxy is at peace. But, but Joe, the more important things are at hand. The last Metroid's in captivity. Oh, wow. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebes. I was there. It was there that I followed the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. And there's a there's a recreation of the Mother Brain battle in the first one. If we, uh, if we can't moonwalk, then uh, how are we uh, supposed to put it in our bum bum? In the bum bum? In the bum bum. Ow! <laughs> I next fought the Metroids in their home world, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching, followed me like a confused child. <coughs> now you can see that. Also in 16-bit glory. Because that game was on the Game Boy. <laughs> I think Owen actually has that game. <laughs> yeah. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Fr research station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy product producing qualities. Yes, thank you. Ha take this deadly space creature. <laughs> I'm sure you'll use it responsibly. <laughs> the scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for good, for the good of civilization. Yeah, I'm sure. <coughs> And the corporation and alien was going to use the aliens for good, too. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Ah, shit! <laughs> <coughs> Sarah is station under attack. Damn it, I leave for five minutes! <laughs> Especially when it comes to alien life. Yeah. <coughs> well, you know, I'm gonna get in a serious date here on the first episode. Yeah? Uh, do you think that there, uh, there's, uh, there's life out there? Joey. Yes. <laughs> With how vast the universe is, it would be yeah. foolish to not to think, think that. To, yeah, think otherwise. Yeah. Ooh. Really saying, like, there's some hey, Joe, like, real quick. Yeah. Uh huh. Look, look around. You see that? I see it. You see the dead bodies everywhere? Oh, I did not see that. And the Metroid larvas out? Something bad happened here. <laughs> Oh, there it is. 
Hey, hey, little guy, what's up? Come on, let's go. Door. Oh, God! <laughs> it's diddly! What? Yeah, it's diddly! He gonna diddle me! Oh, God! He gonna diddle me! You've been diddled! Whoa, diddle kid! Diddle it! Diddle it! <laughs> I l Whoa, diddle kid! Diddle it! Diddle it! We call for Batman! <laughs> but yeah, no, people are saying, like, uh, like, if they were really this, like, technologically advanced, why would they want anything to do with us? Well, that's part, that's the theory that I've heard most, is that they, uh, you know, they, um, like, odds are there is definitely life out there. However, the odds of it actually being able to, oh, there it goes, the odds of it actually being able to, like, you know, Oh, it's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. <laughs> the odds of them actually being able to contact us are slim. Slim, yeah. Gotta get out, gotta get out. Sorry, guys, gotta get out. <laughs> <laughs> the ship's gonna blow. Everybody leave. Everybody out of the pool. Oh, come on with you. <laughs> Alrighty then. So we are, we are now running for our lives. And I forgot which button jumped. Great! <laughs> Alright, all right. flashback to, uh, to, to, to two moments before where, where Eric was assigning the controls. <laughs> yes! I- oh god, please, just- oh god! <laughs> let me out! <laughs> let me out! <laughs> let me out! <laughs> oh, come- let me- no, please. Not like this. Not like five minutes into the game. No. <laughs> not even five- it's seven minutes into the- no, please, I beg of you. No, not like I'm this. <laughs> I did it! Okay, good! I did not die on the first stage of the game. Congratulations, you won an award! Yeah, yes, I would like an award. I won a participation trophy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, um... This actually reminds me of when I was playing Metroid Prime recently. And, so that game is super dark. Not in terms of tone, because it, it is kind of dark in tone. However, literally, I can't see anything. Literally, I have to I'm turn the light. I have to turn the lights off in my room to see anything. <laughs> and so they have like one of those self-destruct sequences in the beginning of the game. And I, I kid you not, I almost died because I couldn't tell where to go <laughs> because it was so dark. Oh, you're serious? I'm I dead you're serious. About what? Yes, it's incredibly dark. I wouldn't kid about something like that, Joe. <laughs> I was just joking around. I'm not. <laughs> I see that now. <laughs> Oop. I cannot morph ball yet. It don't fit. <laughs> it don't fit. <laughs> it don't fit. That's funny. This is what this is why I have you around, Joey. Oop. That was just. My, my, my lips were moving. Sounds were coming out, but they were not words. Hey, Joe, do you know what this is? What? Do you know the deal where I am right now? Uh, in uh, Super Metroid, playing on the Switch. Uh, currently in your room. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to murder you, Joe. <laughs> no, where, where, where are you? Does this does this ring a bell, Joey? No, this is Mother Brain. Oh! This is where Mother Brain was in the first game. Does Mother Brain have dialogue? No. Darn. She just showed up. She did in the in the. Did have you ever heard of Captain N? <clears throat> it sounds familiar. It was a, it was a Nintendo based TV show where like a ton of Nintendo franchises crossed over and then they all like fought other Nintendo cr Nintendo villains. That's actually kind of neat. It is. However, it was kind of stupid. So... <laughs> what? Okay, they... They, like... They, they fucked up the design for a ton of different characters. Oh! I've been discovered! Hey, I can... Okay, so... Oh. Okay, on the good guy's side, 
They had... So there was Captain N, the Game Master. They had Simon Belmont. They had Simon Belmont. They had Kid Icarus. And... Tom Belmont, Kid Icarus. Oh, they had Mega Man, who looked exactly... Oh, cool! He nothing looked like Mega Man? He looked nothing like Mega Man. He talked like this! <laughs> <laughs> this was his voice! <laughs> I'm Mega Man! Hey, guys, it's me, Mega Man! <laughs> I sound like a 40-year-old chain smoker! Hey, guys, it's me, Mega Man! No, it's not. No, you're really not. <laughs> it's like... Did you ever see the original... Do you ever see the original cover for Mega Man on in for the for the for the NES? No. It looked so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even kidding. It looked just so bad. <laughs> yeah, let me feast my peepers on this. Yeah, take a look, see. He doesn't even have a blaster, he has a he's just holding a gun. Mega Man for the what? NES, the first Mega Man. Alright, let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There was actually, like, a... Th oh, wow. <laughs> right? That, that... Uh, Mega Man. <laughs> he doesn't even have a blaster. He just has a gun. <laughs> Is that what he was supposed to look like? Uh, no. Based on the... If the sprites are anything to go off of, no. His face says he's taking a dump, but his legs say hospital. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, space pirates know I'm here now. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, but it, oh, but yeah, Capcom actually got in a lot of, uh, got in a lot of hot water when, as they, uh, so they, they teased Mega Man as a guest character in Marvel vs. Capcom, however, they made it so that it was that cover, Mega Man. No. <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke, but the fans took it, like, way too seriously. How awfully nice of you. <laughs> But yeah, so they had, and on the bad guy's side, they had King Hippo, some eggplant guy from Ice Climbers, and Mother Brain. But Mother Brain looked like essentially like a flap of skin in a jar. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was the problem with Atari, where the the cover art would look awesome, but the game would look like ass. <laughs> like, I feel like that's the first instance of clickbait. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why uh, that's why Nintendo went with the black box. Do you know about the black box? Huh? Do you know about, like, black box Nintendo games? I do not. So, essentially, like, so... After Atari caused the video game crash of 83, Nintendo opted to use black boxes with pixel art of game of their games for the cover so that they wouldn't Oh yeah, and it worked fine. Sega was doing a similar thing except they did instead of having like, you know, they had clip art of like the game. <laughs> oh cool, I got map data. Awesome. Where are you now? What? Where are you now? We are on planet Zebes. We're trying to hunt down the space pirate Ridley, who has the uh, who has the me who has the baby Metroid. See, Eric, I meant what what was the screen in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> that was the map. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like too much information. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think it changed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were on the space station before. Now we're on the space pirate. Homeworld. Oh, oh, you should be. <laughs> but yeah, so Kid Icarus, his. Okay, so first of all, Simon Belmont looked like a mountain climber. I need the I need the bombs. Simon Belmont looked like a mountain climber and not a uh, vampire hunter. And Kid Icarus's whole thing was like he'd put Icus in like at the end of random words. No. Like you know how Doofenshmirtz puts innate at the at the end of words to make his like innators. But there's a difference. That's funny. <laughs> but he's like, <laughs> Do you, have you found the cupacus? That would be his thing. His... <laughs> That's the peak of comedy. 
comedy right there. It's the dumbest thing. And we are out of time, folks. We will see you guys next time. Next time. <laughs>